in this lecture, we're going to compare the first ionization energies of different elements, especially group 1. Now, um, I'm, uh, I've drawn three elements from group 1 and uh, I've drawn them, uh, the lithium is at the top of group 1 and sodium is at the bottom of group 1 and potassium uh, is lower down. So I've drawn three elements, they are five, six elements uh, in group 1. So let's uh, just pick these three and compare how their first ionization is, energy is going to compare. So we're going to, we are looking and comparing the first ionization energy which means we are trying to remove the first electron. So I'm going to try and remove uh, I'm going to try and remove one electron each from each of these atoms. So I'm going to try and remove this electron. I'm going to try and remove this electron from sodium, a gaseous atom. And the first ionization energy of potassium is going to be I will try and remove this electron. So I'm going to try and remove the outermost electrons in all these three atoms. And uh, I'm going to see how the ionization energies are going to vary. Now for lithium, this electron is uh, closest to the nucleus compared to all the other three atoms. If you look at sodium, it's further away. If you look at potassium, it's further, even further away. So as you move down a group, the outer electron is going to move further and further away from uh, the nucleus. So, so the distance is, in this case, the distance of the outer electron, the distance is less. And second, if you look, there's less shielding as well. It's closer to the nucleus. There are less shells in between. So there is less shielding. So shielding is lesser. So both distance and shielding are lesser, which means that it's close to the nucleus and there would be more attraction. So that would suggest that ionization energies should increase. The ionization energy of lithium compared to the other two is going to be uh, higher. It's going to require a lot more energy to remove an electron. So ionization energy is higher. I'm comparing these three. So it's comparatively higher. But there's one point. Um, that point is that it has fewer protons. Now fewer protons would suggest, if you look at this, there are fewer protons. Now this factor is going to suggest that ionization energy because there, there are fewer protons in the nucleus which means there's lesser nuclear charge which, which would suggest that the ionization energy is going to be low. But if you account for the overall factor factors that are affecting ionization energy, this is the first one, this is the second one and that's your third one. So these are the three factors that are affecting ionization energies and two are suggesting that ionization energy is higher and one is suggesting that the ionization energy is lower. So if you, um, um, if you, get, if you try to uh, figure out what the overall effect is going to be, that would mean that the ionization energy is going to be higher because there are two factors which are suggesting that ionization energy increases. Similarly, if you look at potassium as you move down the group, uh, the distance of the outer electron, let's look at potassium now. Now the distance of the outer electron, that is uh, that is larger. So distance of outer electron, it's further away. So it's further away from the nucleus, which means that there's lesser attraction. The second factor is that there's more shielding. So shielding is more as well. So there are two factors which are suggesting that uh, the overall ionization energy in this particular case, in this particular case, that is going to be lower. It's going to be easier to remove this electron. It's going to be lower. So the overall ionization energy in this particular case is going to be lower because the two factors, the electron over here is really, really far away from the nucleus. There wouldn't be a lot of attraction for this electron. It's uh, shielded more as well. So that again would lead to a lesser attraction. There are too many uh, electrons in between this electron and the nucleus which are blocking the attraction. So uh, that would also suggest that it's easier to remove an electron, less energy would be required. Now, if you look at the third factor, which in our case is the number of protons. Now if you look there are 19 protons, that would mean that it has a higher number of protons. So there are more protons 
Now this one factor would suggest that the ionization energy, the attraction uh, by the proton would be stronger. So ionization energy would be higher and based on this factor alone there would be more attraction and more energy would be required to remove this electron. Now again if you we have discussed these factors individually now if you look at the overall effect if you look at the overall effect there are two factors which are suggesting that ionization energies are lower which would mean that the overall effect is going to be that the ionization energy would be lower. So if you move down a group so I'm moving down a group if I move further away the atom is going to become bigger and bigger so within a group in the periodic table as you move down a group the atom size increases so the distance uh, increases the atomic radius increases so as you move down a group the atoms become larger and larger there's more shielding so ionization energies be become lesser and lesser so ionization energy decreases down a group so I'm going to write those uh, factors down now so we can what we can state now is that as you move down a group so we talking about ionization energies and the first ionization energies comparing them down a group so if I move down a group the atomic radius or the atom size or the distance of the outer electron increases and shielding increases shielding increases hence ionization energy or the first ionization energy we're talking about the first ionization energy over here you're trying to remove the first electron so the first ionization energy decreases now this is what you're going to write when a question is asked in your papers about what happens when you move down a group so so the ionization energy decreases and we have to mention the third point as well so irrespective of the fact of the fact that nuclear charge or the number of protons increases so that's what you're going to state when in the past papers uh, when you attend past papers and you're asked what happens to the first ionization energy and we're talking about the first ionization energy so what happens to the first ionization energy specifically down a group so atomic radius increases which means that the, that the atom is further away the electron is further away from the nucleus it's easier to remove an electron shielding increases which means that the more shells so there's less attraction so ionization energy decreases irrespective of the fact that nuclear charge increases as well which negates the first two but uh, since the overall effect is going to be that the ionization energy would decrease down a group